Let's chat about No Man's Sky. Welcome back guys, it's Raw Geek here. Yes, I thought we'd talk about No Man's Sky briefly today, because there's a kind of an update coming that I thought you might like to know. Now, this game came out like four years ago, 2016, and at the time it looked good, um, the trailer looked decent, and, you know, it seemed quite promising. Basically, there's a universe which gets kind of procedurally generated as you move around, so you can basically keep going and it will just populate things with different planets to go and explore and you can go land on the planet and look around it and maybe craft some stuff or whatever you'd like to do on the planet but it did receive some criticism because that seemed to be the only thing you could really do just fly around the universe and explore these planets which have been randomly generated there was no multiplayer and you know it felt a little bit lackluster although it looked brilliant and worked well people weren't that impressed and that's why I didn't get it at the time, because I saw it come out, I saw the reviews that it was like that, and me and my friend were really interested in it, but then we were just kind of turned off a little bit because it seemed a little bit lacking. But credit where it's due to the developers, because they've constantly updated this game and brought out big releases over the last four years. They added different ways of exploring, underwater travel for example, and that multiplayer aspect that I was talking about just a minute ago. I mean, look at this kind of thing. You can get in a big exo mech robot thing and run around and there's dinosaur type creature things to look at and there's other people importantly there's other people i mean when you look at this it looks pretty smart uh, you know for the other people there it makes it just a bit more enjoyable really and yet i've still never played this game i've still not bought it despite all these updates coming out and making it more fleshed out i just sort of didn't care i kind of assumed that maybe no one was really playing it and it was only until today that really my interest peaked again because of a latest update yes guys no man's sky desolation is coming introducing update 2.6 scavenge and survive in the haunted wreckage of derelict freighters with a desolation update okay you had me you had me at haunted <laughs> no, you had me at survive <laughs> Uh, that sounds pretty cool. We'll look at the little trailer in a minute. Um, it's 50% off currently. It's on PS4, Steam and Xbox. Uh, the remains of hastily abandoned freighters float adrift through space. Those who dare to explore these haunted corridors will find great reward and great danger. Derelicts are found all across space, but travellers seeking salvage opportunities can acquire specific coordinates from a local scrap dealer for the right price. And again, it's procedure generated interior, so, you know, it's going to be different each time you, you walk through. This is the kind of thing, if you've got a friend who's got the game or you both want to get the game, this is the type of thing that sounds pretty cool. This is the type of thing that would get me parting with my hard-earned, or sort of hard-earned cash. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I think, well, well, we won't look at too much of this because I think it might spoil it a little bit. Let's take a look at the trailer. So this is No Man's Sky Desolation Update trailer. I have absolutely no idea what's happening here. Absolutely no idea. Is that what goes up to? 1080. Oh god. Okay, they're flying around. There's a, is that a freighter? Is it that's been left? Oh, that's spooky. Oh, that looks spooky. What the hell? Oh, it's floating right. Ugh. Is there going to be xenomorphs? <laughs> Is anything going to attack? Is it attack? Oh, that looks. Looks really nice. Oh, uh oh. Oh, watch out for you, mate. <laughs> oh, spooky. Spooky. I mean, it's not quite alien isolation, but it looks pretty cool. So, looking around here, it's got atmospheric danger. Uh, uncovering the freighter's secrets won't be easy. There's a derelict full of danger. 
the crew's flared systems failed, lights are off, life support and gravity are offline, and the security AI has gone haywire. So, like, how is trying to kill you? <laughs> um, it looks good. The deadly inf so these things do actually attack you and stuff like that. They don't look that menacing, but none of the creatures really do in No Man's Sky. It's kind of a bit more cartoony, I, I guess you'd say cartoony. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, they're very nice. I mean, these lights came around. It does look spooky. I think that would be pretty cool. If you were looking for something that was going to tempt you to get in this game, I think this update would be it, because there's now so much you can do, it kind of makes it feel like it's a full game. You know, part of you thinks, well, why didn't they bring it out like that to start with? But it's okay to add things to a game and listen to, to feedback. Um, and so credit where, it, where it's due, like I say, they've updated it over all these years and made it something, you know, pretty good by the looks of it. So it's usually £40, it's currently £19.99, probably $20 in America, so that kind of thing. The offer ends in a few days' time, so you know, that's why I'm bringing it to you now. And as you can see, the all reviews is very mixed, and that's because, like I was saying earlier when it came out originally, people were a bit disappointed it was a bit lackluster. But the recent reviews are very positive, which shows how much this game's progressed, and probably you'll like it. I probably would like it. You know, I'm not made of money, but I probably would like this, so I'm going to talk to my friend and see what he thinks. It's not the sort of thing I'm going to play by myself, but if a friend, I could, I could convince a friend to part with their hard-earned cash, it would be something cool to look around and explore with together, I think. You, you could have a little chat, can't you? It's kind of like just hanging out. So yeah, that's all I wanted to do, just bring you that little update, bit of game news for you. Do you think it looks cool? Are you going to get this? Have you already got it? If you have, I'd love to hear what you think of it. Let me know down below. So guys, if you like that, please click like. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you on the next video. And until then, remember, the sky is owned by no man. Yet. Okay. Bye. Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome. Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Laters, haters.